Okay, so plugins for WordPress, okay. WordPress as it, at, at its core, once you install WordPress, it's a very basic feature set. It, it's very powerful, but it's very basic. It allows you to create posts, news items, etc., pages, which are static entities like about us, contact us, etc. But to really uh, enjoy the power of WordPress, you need plugins. And um, you might want to develop your own plugins, but I would suggest you always look here first to see if there's a, a plugin available to you. And you go to wordpress.org and click on plugins. I suggest you sign up to wordpress.org. It's free. And then you can, you can save your favorite plugins um, and you can get updates uh, uh, from those plugins as well. Okay, so let's have a look at plugins on, on this, this site, okay? You'll notice that there's quite a few plugins installed. Not all of them are activated, okay? Um, some of them aren't activated as yet, but they will be activated later. But I'm gonna go through a few of these so you know what they do. So the features plugin, as soon as I install it, it, it allows me to create features so I can have site features. So when the per people visit my website, I can have like three or four boxes across the page that says, this is what we do, contact us, our services, blah, blah, blah. And that's what the features plugin does. The team members plugin, um, uh, which is called Our Team, it is a plugin that basically allows you to, uh, um, it allows you to um, add all your team members to your website. And it creates a custom post type, which allows you to uh, add team members. And then you can put those team members on a page, like you can create a page called um, Our Team and have all the team members listed on that page. Um, and so as we go down, you'll see there's a projects plugin, which allows you to display all your, all your past projects that you've worked on. Okay. Testimonials plugin, which allows you to add testimonials to your website with a little image from the company or the individual who's given that testimonial. Uh, slides, which is a very powerful plugin uh, that allows you to create a slideshow on your website. That's actually a premium plugin, which costs money. Um, and then Gravity Forms, which is a which is a, a pre another premium plugin that costs money, which allows you to create forms on your website and have those forms embedded inside a post or page, so someone can fill in a form and send you their details. A great plugin, probably the best plugin for WordPress uh, today. Um, and then there's there's some other ones that do do things in the back end, like Google XML sitemaps. Um, uh, WordPress SEO, which I haven't activated yet because this site isn't actually live as yet as we're working on it. And then there's another plugin which, which is called Sensei, which allows me to create a, uh, a like a lessons like what you're doing now. And that's a premium plugin as well. And that does cost a bit of money, but it is a good plugin. And that allows you to create lessons and sell those lessons on a website. Okay, and you can see there, there's the lessons, all the different, all the different features that uh, this plugin offers. Okay, so that's an overview of plugins. You can see most of the plugins are, are on, on, on WordPress, okay? Um, and you can search for a, a different type of plugin. Um, and, you know, some of, some of them are going to uh, be uh, uh, are going to be necessary. Some of them, you're going to think, oh, I want to develop my own thing for my website. But you want to look for a plugin that already does that first before you go off and spend the money on a developer, okay? Uh, sometimes you have to make a few little compromises but you can also a lot of times extend on top of the plugin by developing just on top of an existing plugin, okay? But in the next series, I'll show you what plugins to, what to look out for for plugins. So that's an overview of plugins for WordPress.